Hi, my name is Ali. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco Systems. Today, I'm going to showcase a demo on Bonjour Access Policy coming in controller A.0 release. In this demo, I'm implementing three scenarios or use cases as shown. In scenario one, we have two users, student and teacher, both connected to the same SSID and VLAN. The teacher have access to all major Bonjour services like AirPrint, AirPlay, that is Apple TV, but the student have access to only AirPrint services. Now in scenario two, the teacher gives access to the student for a specific Apple TV uh, to project his device. Uh, this is done through PI portal. Now in scenario three, the student brings his own Apple TV and like to use it and then also wants to give access uh, to another user. To start, we have enabled emptiness global snooping in order to discover and cache all the Bonjour services on the controller. Uh, this is same as in previous release in 7.5 to 7.6. In A.O, we have MDNS policy button, uh, which we have enabled as well. To see which devices have been discovered, we go to domain names. We see the following MDNS services being discovered. A MacBook Pro running reflector app, conference room Apple TV. We have a printer, office Apple TV, and LE Apple TV. All of them are on the same VLAN, which is VLAN 21 in our setup. Now under MDNS policies, we have created two MDNS service groups for our demo, MDNS teacher and MDNS student. If we drill down to policy MDNS teacher, we have added a printer and a MacBook which is running a reflector app. Also, role name teacher under policy rule. Similarly for student, we have only added printer so no April services should be, should be visible to any client with the role student. Just to show you how we add the MDNS service to the policy group, I'm going to add the conference Apple TV to the policy teacher, put the MAC address and the name and add the device to the MDNS teacher group. So we see the services has been added and once the client connects with teacher role it should be able to access these three services. On our AAA server in our case which is ICE we have defined our authorization profile and Cisco AV pair as role teacher. Similarly for student authorization profile we have created Cisco AV pair role as student. Demonstrate the first scenario, we connected the users, teacher and student, to the same .1x SSID, which is pod 2x, and all the other Bonjo services devices like Apple TV and printers to pod 2 PSK, and all of them on the same VLAN. Here, teacher's iPad is connected to pod 2 1x SSID with IP address from VLAN 21, which is 10 10 21 112. As you can see the username teacher and it should be able to see all the devices which are configured to the MDNS policy and we see that conference room Apple TV and MacBook Pro which is running reflector app also we should be able to see the airprint services print then select printer and here we see the lobby printer we also have a student device connected to the same SSID pod 21x getting address from VLAN 21. Now student device is connected to the same SSID. We will test that no AirPlay service or no Apple TV should be visible and that's what we see here. And also AirPrint or printer service should be available only to the student. Select printer and yes we see the printer here. This concludes our first scenario and we move on to the next one where teacher gives access to the student for the AirPlay services. So in PI we have created a user MDNS admin for the teacher 
and added specific devices which teacher can access. Now we log into the PI portal with teacher credentials. And we see the following devices which have been added by the admin. And to give access to the student, we'll just enter the username of student and save it. And similarly for conference Apple TV, we'll do the same. Now we go back to the controller to see if the MDNS policy has been properly created through SNMP and by the MDNS policy admin and we see that two more policies have been created. To verify that student one is able to view the API services the teacher just granted him the access to, the student one connects to the same SSID port to one X and try to A play service and you can see it on the iPad MacBook Pro and conference room TV also we will verify that the printer service is still available to student and he is able to access the printer and this is true as well so far we have demoed the first two scenarios. Going to the third scenario where student one brings his own Apple TV and gets exclusive access. Plus he grants another user, student, to access that Apple TV as well. For this, student needs to log in to my device portal on ICE with his credentials. And add the MAC address of his Apple TV which is already on the network, assign a name and enable MDNS button and enter the username which can access the device which is student1 and student2 in our case. This generates an MDNS auto policy through radius on controller which allows student1 and 2 to access the student Apple TV. Now connecting student1 device he is able to see his Apple TV we just added. Similarly we have another user student 2 who should be able to only see that particular Apple TV. Here student 2 device is connected to the same SSID part 21x and if we try to access the AirPlay services we clearly see the Apple TV is visible which the student just added. Now this concludes our demo and the key takeaway is that MDNS policy gives us more flexible and scalable mechanism to filter MDNS traffic. Thank you for watching.